package has arrived. This is from a company called Tavor. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I got contacted through some marketing rep about, um, she said, hey, you want me to send some beer? I was like, yes, from their website. A relationship with award-winning craft brewers give our members access to beers you cannot get anywhere else. We're not a beer of the month club. You only pay for the beer you want and you have control over when it ships to you. And every day we introduce new beers and to purchase beer, you just get the app, download it, press get it. And from there you choose uh, the quantity and then press claim your beer. And it seems like it's pretty straightforward as far as that goes. So I think they have like packages. You can do a sour package. You can do, do an IPA package. Um, when you go right to their site, if I just click right on the home thing, it just says, get the beer you've always wanted to try. Sign up for daily, let's claim what you want, pass on what you don't. And it says, sign up free. Try thousands of beers from small craft breweries and bring you the gems you can't get at the store. So, um, you know, check it out, uh, tavor.com. I'll, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, they didn't pay me to do this, but they said, do you want, do you want some beer? And that's, I was like, yes. And then I said, um, I actually didn't even tell them I would try it on the video. I don't think I did, but you know, why not? It's kind of exciting. So the only thing I did do for this was ask, request one style of beer, not just one style of beer, a beer I've always wanted to try from a certain brewery because I saw it on their site, that's how they had it. And then from there I said, um, go for it, give me, give, you know, throw in what you want. I said I like IPAs and sours, so very well could be what this whole package is, is just IPAs and sours. So um, let's dig in, right? Shall we? Start from the edge here. Oh, this is it, the very first one <laughs> I said I wanted to get, and I saw that they had it, and that's the Rare Barrel. This is a Golden Sour Ale, ale aged in oak barrels, pineapple, passion fruit, cherry, guava, and peach. Awesome, and together we're better, That's what this one is. The only thing I don't know about some of this stuff is how it's stored, obviously, it, if they get it, I hope it goes out fast, not sitting in some warehouse of theirs at Tavor for like months on end. Also, I would tend to do more sours if I were to do this. I think they can handle that sort of heat a bit better. But you want something really hoppy um, and it's sitting around for months in a warm cellar or warehouse. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll try it out. Maybe I'm not. Oh, I'm not gonna open one today, but um, maybe we'll try it out later and uh, see how they taste. All right. Next one. So the rest, I don't know what they are. I have no idea. So I just choose for me. So this is Alarmist Brewing Lay Juice, and they are from Chicago. Um, New England style uh, IPA and uh, doesn't say the hops on it I don't think nope but they won something at American Beer Festival oh they won gold at the uh, the American Beer Festival wow okay well there you go so <laughs> can't be too bad right next is Springhouse Brewing uh, this is a milkshake IPA citra leaf hops vanilla beans and sweet cherry puree from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That's a pretty sweet label, by the way. So, uh, I like it. So they're gonna probably gonna all be IPAs and sours. Oh, there was one down here I missed. It looks like a, a bottle of some sort. From Double Mountain, this one. So this is from the Devil's Creek, 9% alcohol, and Oak Aged Creek Belgian Sour Style Ale with cherries. Uh, Double Mountain, Let's see what it says on there. Hood River, Oregon. Nice little wax top on there. So, so far two sours, two IPAs. Cruising right along. Up. Oh, so let's two of these. Came with two of these juices. Or two of the Le Juice, I should say. And probably two of the other one, I'm guessing. Yep. So two of those. Let's take a, let's make a little collection going on here. Next one is Hype Beast by uh, Trap Door Brewing. Another great label. Um, Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver, Washington. Okay. Uh, it's a double, a sour, a sour double IPA with passion fruit and milk sugar. Triple dry hop with galaxy and citra. 8.5% alcohol. Wow. Now it does say keep cold and drink fresh. I agree. This is not cold. And this came in about two days ago. I haven't had a chance to open it yet. But right as I'm done with this, they're all going to go in the fridge. Because <laughs> I do want to drink them as, uh, keep them as cold as possible. I imagine there's two of these. Yes, there are. Two of the high piece. Another great label. Look at this. this look at this label. This label game is just on point. This is uh, Anchorage Brewing. 
uh, from Alaska as you know probably one of the bigger ones out there um, this was called most is most it looks like a quad IPA 11% alcohol it doesn't say any other info on that actually did I read that right a quad it is a quad IPA I've never had a quad IPA I've only had a triple as the highest okay let's see what's next um, matchless is the brewery it looks like? Yeah, all fluff hazy IPA. This is uh, Citra, Eldorado, Amarillo, malt, Pilsner, wheat, flaked wheat, flaked dough, it's honey, malt. Yeast is juice. Um, and it is packaged, brewed and packaged in Tomb Water, Washington, it looks like. Another good label though. Probably two of these is my guess. Yep. And then a rare barrel again. Yeah, it's a different one though. That's awesome. So this is um, Ensorcelled. I think that's how you say that. And uh, a dark sour beer aged in oak barrels with raspberries. About 8% alcohol. So it looks like we have, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different, different beers. And then to some of the other ones. So 13 beers in total, and that is it for the box. It is empty. If anyone's into trying stuff you can't get anywhere else, um, you know, it's hard to ship out here. The concept is great, and it seems fairly affordable. Um, I, I don't, again, I don't know if you can mix and match whenever you want. I don't know if you just say, I want the IPA one, I want the blonde one. You might be able to contact them and just say what you like. They might be able to give you um, recommendations or just sort of whatever, make a box for you. It is pretty cool. I do like it because there's definitely times where I, I want to try stuff and you just can't get stuff out here. Like the stuff from Chicago is pretty awesome. All over the place, Washington. So yeah, I am excited to try this stuff. Uh, maybe I'll crack, crack one open or a couple, um, either on a brew day maybe, or maybe as I'm tasting another beer, I'll just crack one open and, and review it and just to see. Uh, I don't actually like do my own entire tasting videos for other commercial beer. Like I said in another video, I might start reviewing home brewers beer a bit more, but commercial stuff, not one I, I don't think I'll necessarily ever really do it a video dedicated just to that unless it's for like a big reason um so yeah there you go there's the unboxing that's Tavor this is what they do check them out um thank you for watching like subscribe for all the good content that's coming your way keep getting weird keep drinking beer and see you next time